Hey there, it's Andrew with AndroidCentral.com, and we wanted to give you a walkthrough of the new Gmail interface in Gmail 4.5, which is just rolling out in the Play Store right now. And it's the first major refresh to the Gmail app in quite some time, and it follows a lot of the new uh, design principles that Google rolled out in Google I.O. a couple weeks ago, and has since hit uh, some of the apps like Google Play Books, Google Play Music, um, and it's nice to see it come to Gmail as well. So the main interface when you open up the app is going to be similar, but uh, a bit different once you start digging into it. You'll notice that the bottom action bar is now gone, relegated all up to the top action bar, where you'll see your search and create new mail and the settings button by default. But when you tap these new uh, icons, um, on the left, you'll notice that the action bar changes to give you options to delete, mark as read or unread, uh, change uh, the folder, and then get contextual uh, options for that as well as change label, add stars, mark important, etc. And so these new icons on the left, uh, they're either going to be the contact picture of the person that sent you an email, or it's going to be the first letter or the first name of the person that sent the email, or in this case, like Starbucks, you'll see an S, Chris, you'll see a K, uh, multiple people, you'll see a thread with uh, multiple uh, pictures or letters. And so it kind of adds an interesting, slightly cartoonish flair to it. But the good thing is that that can be turned off, as can uh, the option to see the different folders, which we see here, if uh, I just got an email from LinkedIn, uh, so it shows up in the social tab. So if you've enabled on the web, the option to have the tabbed interface in Gmail, you'll get those same labels here when you refresh the app. So right now I have it set up for primary social promotions and updates. And so you see while I'm in the primary tab, it won't show that social email but uh, it will notify me of it. So then when I hit it, it will take me over to the social tab. You'll notice I popped down there. And we go back to primary, it's not there. So whether or not you like the new tab interface uh, is your choice. And whenever you change something on the web, it just gets reflected in the app. There's no setting to be uh, ticked for that. However, if you do wanna turn off these uh, contact pictures, you can dive into the general settings and you can turn off sender image and you'll see a wider view where you can see more of the email. And now to do multiple select, you'll have to do a long press and then a multi select to be able to do that because they've gotten rid of the pictures and gotten rid of the check boxes. Those don't uh, exist anymore. But of course you can go back and turn that back on as well. And much in the same way, all the same other same settings are there as far as uh, swiping to archive or delete or uh, archiving and deleting from the uh, drop down notifications as well. The main uh, interface change though here is the slide in panel, which we showed you earlier. Um, if you have selected uh, not to have the tabbed interface in Gmail, these will be gone and everything will be pushed up. You'll see your recent labels if you're a big label fan like, uh, like I am, keeping everything nice and color-coded and clean on the way in. Uh, you'll see the labels. I have one for Android Central, of course. And then you'll see your main labels here, um, you know, everything you'd expect to see. All of your user-created labels are down in the bottom, uh, and it does duplicate so that these labels will never change, they will always be the same, and you just get a duplicated version, um, or an alias, I guess you could say, in the, in the recent labels list. Um, when you are in a label, you can uh, hit settings and get your regular label settings, so you can be uh, get your notified uh, notifications set up, your syncing set up. One thing to note though, for the new labels, you do have to go in and turn on sync and turn on notifications manually. It's not uh, automatically turned on, which is very interesting, but it at least notifies you uh, in your primary uh, inbox that there is a message. Your phone's just not gonna vibrate or anything like that. Um, maybe they're thinking that those messages are kind of uh, less important and don't need to be notified. 
So that is your main walkthrough of the Gmail 4.5 interface. Lots of nice changes, things have been improved, cleaned up. You can turn off some of the things you don't like if you don't like the tabbed interface, if you don't like the contact images, those can all be cleaned up. And uh, the big idea is that it's easier to get at your information and uh, with removing that action bar, you just get a little more info on the screen as well. Thanks for taking a look at our walkthrough, guys. Bye.